Hey, Tui Snyder here. Today I'm going to take you to Weatherford, Texas, and we're going to take a look at white bronze, otherwise known as zinc monuments. And they have a fascinating history. They're really unique and interesting. So let's hit the road. Okay, let's take a look at this obelisk. It's certainly in great shape, isn't it? Well, the reason it's in such great shape is that it is what's called white bronze, which is actually a zinc alloy monument. And these were made popular by a company called the Monumental Bronze Company out of Bridgeport, Connecticut. And I've seen some really interesting catalog uh, catalogs where you could purchase all the components to make your own monument and what's so great about these is that they just last forever and I'm gonna get up here and you know, they all have kind of a, a light bluish tint so you can sort of recognize them from a distance but if you're not sure if it is a, a bronze or not get up to it and go <laughs> yeah that's not stone that rings and it's hollow so I think they're really fascinating and wonderful. Now, unfortunately, when World War I came along, uh, America needed their zinc for munitions. And that really, that's what put the Monumental Bronze Company out of business. One thing I've heard about them, and I do not know if this is true, but it is just one of those stories that I, I love and I kind of hope it's true. And I keep trying to find some confirmation of it is that during Prohibition, which was 1920 through 1933, and that, those are the years that here in America, it was illegal to buy booze. So there was a lot of, you know, what the black market was, it was people selling booze, right? So I'm gonna come up here and show you, see these panels, you would order them from the Monumental Bronze Company catalog and you choose different things for yourself. So different epitaphs like this one here. I'm kind of watching my, my step here. All right, gone from our home, but not from our hearts. So that's something you could purchase from them. Now I have heard that behind these, if you unscrew this, you could keep it kind of loose and that some people who during prohibition who were running rum or booze would hide it inside of these and that people could then you know they could purchase it from them in that way that was like a way to run booze now i've heard that a few times but i haven't really been able to substantiate it i'm just sharing it because it is one of those stories that seems so fun he died as he lived a pure upright man now one thing i know about this actual cemetery i was in a forum once and a guy there mentioned that when he was growing up there was some lady, you know, like Granny Ellie or something. I don't know what her name was. I'm just sort of making that up. But she would sell booze to kids who were underage. Because here in America, you have to be 21 to drink. And she would, if you gave her some money, she would hide some liquor for you out here, you know, behind some grave. I don't know where. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of interesting. Maybe she was using these zinc monuments. I'll have to look for that, that guy's post again in the forum and see if I can find out. But once again, I really love these. They, they hold up so well. I mean, you can read this, no problem. You can see the date this person was born. 1859, died, 1880, ooh, looks like something fell off there. But still, compared to a lot of these stone monuments, these zinc ones sure stay in great shape. I'm sure uh, maybe we'll see a few more of these, but this is one of my favorite ones. 